in stem and ground rules are respect yourself respect others respect materials stem land is a place for children and youths to grow we see how much we can give responsibility to individuals whether they are youth or whether they are children to ch take charge of their own life we learn here like electronics cubes and many other things based on mathematics so stem is science technology engineering and mathematics and now we call it as streamland so stream is science technology research arts and engineering and mathematics so we also do research so the fun of the first youth i met with i had met him when i was going for my driver's license and i had asked him what do you do and uh, he said i don't have a job i'm looking for one i i asked him what he had done and he said electronics and that which is my background but i when i had come to orville i was only teaching children and uh, i had more or less completely stopped working on uh, kind of chip design and all i used to do and so i sort of let it pass because i had made a conscious choice to work with kids and i didn't really want to get back into doing that 3 months later i decided to go for my to get my license and again coincidentally he's also sitting and so i asked him what do you do now and he said i'm still looking for a job <laughs> so at that point i felt maybe i should do something and so for me the idea was how do i synthesize my life to be very honest uh, it's a work i have done with high tech with the work i'm doing with children uh, how can i get both of them together uh, and not have a separate idea of industry and a separate idea of education how do we bring it together so there we just sit on the benches and what the teacher teaches on the blackboard we learn that and we just write it on our note and here they like they, uh, they do many different methods to like teach us because this is different from the other classes here we can do whatever we want when we told children this is what we are going to do we are no longer going to teach you you don't have classes anymore first of course they thought we are kidding and <laughs> first two weeks they had fun so they were like playing games and puzzles we organized the entire space together with the children then they got concerned they were like you are not teaching us what will happen to us and then there we went and said we believe in sri arbindo and sri arbindo said nothing can be taught so here you have to learn in the end i can't enter your your brain and learn you need to learn we will support you in whatever way you want if you really want us to take classes we'll take classes also for you so we left it to the children on how to organize themselves and how to learn then we realized many children have never made choices in life because we've never given an opportunity for children to make choices So then the question came how do we as human beings make choices So the same tools we had done we started also working with children on saying how do you make a choice do you make a choice out of possibility or do you make a choice out of fear and can you notice your fear and work beyond that So then I think really nice things have happened over time and that's I guess when we transitioned from a functional organization to a social organization Yeah I get more freedom here we choose a, a topic and we study here normal math classes they just take the book syllabus like the lessons from the book but here they take the lessons from the book and we like they leave us free so we do like yeah the scratch and the other projects we do that scratch is like we do projects on it it's like animation we do arts crafts in it we have computers and we have a robotics lab and there so we all those aspects and where children sit and work and learn different spaces for them to reorganize themselves and work and uh, it's also open for youth to come and start learning who are not part of the shifo program and some people don't want to come full time or we may not have uh, thought that they they are eligible for the program but they may just want to learn and we are always open for anyone who wants to come and learn i like stem learn because we itself choose the lesson and we itself studying i get any doubt i will ask to by kelka and she will clear it i learn square root in here only properly 
and I get no confusion in square roots. Uh, children from any school can come and in the beginning we had children coming from TLC uh, who would come in for twice a week. Uh, we had children from uh, Deepanam school come once a week. So they were coming like that and then we started of course STEM centers in many places. So in Isayambla, in Udavi and whoever wanted to do it in whatever way, not necessarily our way, whatever sort of worked for the schools. So IKM has its own version of STEM land. So there are different flavors, depending on what really works there. But the principles are the same. We want to develop responsibility, equality and the courage to create in ourselves and in the children. So that, that doesn't change. The ground rules don't change. But what specifically we do, or maybe even how we do it, can be different. In STEMland, I choose what I want to learn. I studied uh, accountancy. I couldn't find any job. I saw Sanjay and I talked to him and he, he called me to join Shifu. Uh, I thought that, uh, yeah, because uh, Sanjay is a man who is always like, uh, thinks differently uh, to the way of ch how children, children want to like, do things very fun and like, improve their skills. In last year, we actually started a master's program. It has turned out that it's all youth who've graduated and noticed that they have actually not learned any skills, uh, having completed engineering or having completed a BSc. Uh, what they were supposed to learn, uh, they haven't learned. A computer science graduate wouldn't know how to program. Uh, an electronics engineer would not know what voltage is, a different issue, would not have built anything. So we wanted to have a one-year program, again with the same idea. It's not only about skills. It's about skills, it's about competencies. What do I want to see in the world? How do I shift the culture and system? And who am I being that is going to sort of guide the whole process? Uh, who do I want to be as values? And so that is the program we have put together. It's called Becoming and Being a Shifu. A Shifu means a master. I heard about this program, the Shifu program. Uh, I believe that this will be a better place for me. So I prepared to join here. I spoke with my family. Uh, this is a residential course, one year residential course. So at the first time they didn't allow me. Um, they were all um, scared about the rumors over here. I want them to know the real fact about it and what are all the benefits over here? So I spoke to my mom. I asked her to meet Sanjeev and he spoke to her. And she also believed that this will be a better place for me. And then I joined here. Um, my roles here, like, you know, I'm supporting that Shibu program. People I'm enrolling here and I'm training them. So general courses, like, they are only theoretical oriented like approaches. We never took any theoretical things. We are giving only practical approach. People will start working with their time problem solving. Uh, even like, uh, you know, each mentee is like, they have one more mentor. So the mentor will be changed every quarter and they will be shuffled to other mentors. And during the time, we'll see the growth. There is two ways that we can choose. One is programming side and the other is layout. Um, I've chosen programming. That also, we don't have any exams over here. We just do our tasks and we practice and we learn. Practical learning, playful learning. We offer courses on programming, on data structure, on uh, WordPress and so on. So all those programs are basically offered in the first building. So it has uh, uh, iSmart Lab, so you have a you know, smart board and you can do many things there. So, we have that space, we have a space to work there. 
I started with my scratch program. It makes me helpful to learn programming. I didn't have any programming knowledge before. It's also like helping me a lot to learn programming languages. And so we have a Sunday sort of half day retreat. And so people who have done Vipassana from around Auroville can come here to meditate. It works with something that's real. It's scientific. We are all geeks. So I think the fact that it is based off science, you know, the emotions are stored in the body and we are actually reacting to sensations. And that it's possible uh, to make the conscious mind aware of how the unconscious mind con continuously reacts and start training it. And this is one more way of training ourselves. I learned about leadership uh, because uh, it makes me uh, fearless. The Radical Transformational Leadership is uh, uh, its a program that is a team building program. It assumes personal development. It assumes you're already working on yourself. And it sort of says how you can create a Sangha uh, to support your growth and also other people's growth. So I think it's more a, a team building program on how we can work together with the assumption that you're doing something deep to develop yourself so you live a better life and you live a more meaningful life. So I would say these are Vipassana and uh, RTL are the two major wheels that, that drive us forward. The teachers make learning fun in STEM learning. In terms of the running expenses, so for example, the maintenance of the buildings, all the youth who are volunteering in the schools, all of them also work, so they consult. So that's how we support the youth. There is Stemland as well as uh, C3 Streamland. This C3 Streamland is a commercial unit where uh, we work on uh, programming as well as in uh, VLSI design. So we work for a company called Aura Semiconductor, which is located in Bangalore. We work for them remotely. Uh, we work on VLSI design, uh, so that's chip design. And we work on uh, programming that sort of programs these chips uh, from a user interface. Uh, we also work on tools, so we take both of them together. And how do you design in a more automated fashion? So these are some of the areas we look at. And we're also looking at some things in board design. So it's uh, maybe four or five different areas that we work on. We don't um, stop ourselves from learning. We always engage and explore things. That's what I love here. So if people are really willing to sort of guide and mentor, both technically and non-technically, I think that's a great help. If people want to come and engage, this is like a model. So you can use this model and you can create a new group. So we always welcome people to Auroville, but we don't give them a possibility of what they can do. So here I'm offering something you can do. You have a skill. But the important thing is you should want to grow yourself as a person. So I wanted to like scale Stemland to different places. I want to see that uh, in future, I, like we are all in rural area and uh, children not only children in these schools, but also children in other government schools also to get access to these computers and high-end technology. So I think it's more in terms of uh, creating environments for youth to continue growing and not sort of plateauing, both technically as well as socially, as well as spiritually. I consider ourselves a spiritual organization. Uh, we started as a functional organization, then we became a more social organization. And now I feel we are a more spiritual organization. And spiritual meaning for my personal growth. I'm here because I want to grow, that's it. If you are interested in learning, creating uh, things, you are always welcome because this is a place to learn. <laughs>